Bio 100. Hi, and welcome to week three. So I won't always do these kind of intro uh, videos uh, this semester, especially since you're going to be seeing me unless things change in the labs. But since you didn't get to see me in week two or one in person, I thought I would do an intro before this kind of week three material, the very first real week. Um, what I want to say right off the bat is that, as I mentioned previously, we really front load this class with what I think are the materials that I think the majority of people find to be a little more difficult than the other material. And that is kind of the math stats type stuff. Um, some people prefer that stuff and that's great if that's you. But the goal of this course in some ways is to facilitate your success in other courses. And part of that is trying not to stack all the tough stuff at the end. So when you're studying for finals and other classes that you're juggling and having a difficult time. So with that, I hope you understand why maybe we throw you into the deep end a little bit in kind of week three, four, um, maybe by week five, you're, you're hitting your stride and it maybe won't feel like the deep end anymore. But keep that in mind. Um, also keep in mind that every couple weeks we're switching instructor styles. So maybe the material works for you, but an instruction style doesn't. Um, or maybe an instruction style works for you, but the material doesn't. And so what I want you to really focus on is, is doing the best that you can and reaching out to me if you need help as well. My goal for you is not to be an expert in stats or any other aspect of this class. My uh, hope for you is to come into everything with a bit of a growth mindset. And what I mean by that is don't go, Ugh, I hate stats, I'm terrible at stats. Go into it going, I haven't done stats as well as I think I could or know I could. And my goal is to go from this level of stats to this level. I think that's fantastic. Maybe you start up here and you get up to here. I think that's fantastic too. What I don't want is for you to talk yourself into thinking that you're going to go no matter how much you study from here to here and just stay right where you are. I just want you guys to get a little bit better at things, get exposed to different things. Um, and that's really the goal of this class. So this first material, this is a material I struggle with. Uh, part of this week is concentrations and dilution math. Every time I run out of a buffer in my research lab, and every, that happens every couple of years, I have to reteach myself how to do dilution math. Um, it's just not something that clicks very easily in my brain, but growth mindset, I have been getting better at it, particularly as I teach this class every year. So if a throwback to bio or to Chem 1A and Chem 1B or General Chem, wherever you took it, and doing dilution math gives you stress, just know that it's only in this week. Um, it's not going to make or break you in this class, and I'm here to help you. You have group members that maybe are there to help you that might have different strengths and weaknesses than yourself. Um, and to do your best. Um, we're going to be doing dilution math, uh, which I think, even though I struggle with it, is a valuable, valuable skill if you ever work in a wet lab or you work in a research lab, uh, because we're always making new buffers and solutions. And being able to do that with confidence um, is really, really important. We then kind of dovetail that in with another way of thinking about dilution type math, um, with thinking about uh, dilution series of microbial uh, colonies um, and how we dilute uh, microbial colonies before plating them so that we can back calculate it using countable numbers rather than millions of colonies uh, forming little things on a Petri plate. Maybe there's 20 or 30 or 40 or 100 and we can actually count those and then use dilution math to back calculate what our original sample had as far as microbial abundance. So I hope you um, go into this with an open mind. I hope you enjoy some of the material and the material that maybe uh, you struggle with that you reach out to me or your group mates and try and find a way to kind of growth mindset, get incrementally better at this stuff because that's what really matters. All right, have a good week.